Declaration of the Rights of Man and of Citizens by the National Assembly of France. The representatives of the people of France formed into a national assembly, considering that ignorance, neglect, or contempt of human rights are the sole causes of public misfortunes and corruptions of government, have resolved to set forth in a solemn declaration these natural, imprescriptible, and inalienable rights. That this declaration, being constantly present to the minds of the members of the body social, they may be forever kept attentive to their rights and their duties. That the acts of the legislative and executive powers of government, being capable of being every moment compared with the end of political institutions, may be more respected, and also that the future claims of the citizens, being directed by simple and incontestable principles, may always tend to the maintenance of the Constitution and the general happiness. For these reasons, the National Assembly doth recognize and declare, in the presence of the Supreme Being, and with the hope of His blessing and favor, the following sacred rights of men and of citizens. 1. Men are born, and always continue, free and equal in respect of their rights, civil distinctions, therefore can be founded only on public utility. 2. The end of all political associations is the preservation of the natural and imprescriptible rights of man, and these rights are liberty, property, security, and resistance of oppression. 3. The nation is essentially the source of all sovereignty, nor can any individual or any body of men be entitled to any authority which is not expressly derived from it. 4. Political liberty consists in the power of doing whatever does not injure another. The exercise of the natural rights of every man has no other limits than those which are necessary to secure to every other man the free exercise of the same rights, and these limits are determinable only by the law. 5. The law ought to prohibit only actions hurtful to society. What is not prohibited by the law should not be hindered, nor should anyone be compelled to that which the law does not require. 6. The law is an expression of the will of the community. All citizens have a right to concur, either personally or by their representatives, in its formation. It should be the same to all, whether it protects or punishes, and all being equal in its sight, are equally eligible to all honors, places, and employments, according to their different abilities, without any other distinction than that created by their virtues and talents. 7. No man should be accused, arrested, or held in confinement, except in cases determined by the law and according to the forms which it has prescribed. All who promote, solicit, execute, or cause to be executed arbitrary orders ought to be punished, and every citizen called upon or apprehended by virtue of the law ought immediately to obey and render himself culpable by resistance. 8. The law ought to impose no other penalties but such as are absolutely and evidently necessary, and no one ought to be punished but in virtue of a law promulgated before the offense and legally applied. 9. Every man being presumed innocent till he has been convicted, whenever his detention becomes indispensable, all rigor to him, more than is necessary to secure his person, ought to be provided against by the law. 10. No man ought to be molested on account of his opinions, not even on account of his religious opinions, provided his avowal of them does not disturb the public order established by the law. 11. The unrestrained communication of thoughts and opinions being one of the most precious rights of man, every citizen may speak, write, and publish freely provided he is responsible for the abuse of this liberty in cases determined by the law. 
12. A public force being necessary to give security to the rights of men and of citizens. That force is instituted for the benefit of the community and not for the particular benefit of the persons to whom it is entrusted. 13. A common contribution being necessary for the support of the public force and for defraying the other expenses of government, it ought to be divided equally among the members of the community according to their abilities. 14. Every citizen has a right, either by himself or his representative, to a free voice in determining the necessity of public contributions, the appropriation of them, and their amount, mode of assessment, and duration. 15. Every community has a right to demand of all its agents an account of their conduct. 16. Every community in which a separation of powers and a security of rights is not provided for wants a constitution. 17. The right to property being invaluable and sacred, no one ought to be deprived of it except in cases of evident public necessity, legally ascertained, and on condition of a previous just indemnity.